So where to next? We can either go to the Lost City and see how Mole Knight is doing, or we can go to the Explodatorium and hang out with Plague Knight. Let's not do that. <laughs> For chivalry. So you can see they're covering all of their uh, all of their fire bases with this quote unquote world. They they have started off with water, now we're going to fire, and pretty soon we will be going to poison. <laughs> so this level is actually gonna be kinda tough because of the um, because of the armor I'm wearing. Because I've got the, the, you know, the momentum. And that, that makes precision platforming a little bit hard. But that's okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, see, I don't have a spare chalice, so... There goes my opportunity to get that filled up for free. Although it actually already is free, I, I just... You know, I don't have to go all the way to the Trouble Knight to, to do it. It's kind of like disassembling a puzzle, getting all the gold out of these. A deadly puzzle. It's a very deadly puzzle. Now, in contrast to the water level, the, this is this is music that could only come from a fire level. And as you can see, I am damaged for uh, half of a heart, so I, I no longer get the bonus from the ground spark. And if I fill my health up through some delicious dinner, you can see it comes back. But these blue spiky guys are pretty tough, so I am probably about to probably about to lose that again. Oh my God! I'm pretty sure there's no way to actually kill these. You can like stumble them, you can like stun lock them by hitting them with the shovel, but I don't think it's possible to actually kill them, which sucks. Oh my god! <laughs> Suddenly a beetle. I don't know what this is doing in a volcano, but okay. It's scary. I don't want to lose my ground spark, because it's useful. But I also don't want to lose the beetle. <laughs> yeah, you just hang out there, pal. You, you just... <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what that was all about, but I, I guess it's not my place to question it. Holy crap! This, this guy is like some kind of steampunk Mad Max villain. Jeez. Oh, hello. So now there are moles that come out of our, out of our dirt piles. And I need to be careful of those because they are a pretty cheap shot. Ow. Also, you can't downstab the fire. I don't know if I needed to tell you that, because that's just kind of common sense, but, you know, I, I figured it worth mentioning anyway. I find that, I find that to be a weird phrase. I, I thought it worth mentioning. Like, why not just say I thought it was worth mentioning? See you later, sucker. See? Gotta, gotta use lateral thinking. You gotta, you gotta be smart with your platforming. Huh, fish. Holy crap. And actually, the the heavy armor, the momentum armor, makes that part a little bit tougher because, you know, it's it's heavier. And so you don't get as much height when you do the, the down stabby thing. That, that makes this kind of hard. But I did it. 
And also, I humiliated that guy. And really, really, what's the, what's life about if not for humiliating your enemies? Uh, treasure. <laughs> if I were to sum this game up in, in one one sentence, it would be uh, treasure. I feel like that's a, a very accurate descriptor. But you gotta make the you can't just say treasure. You gotta make the uh, sound first. So this is the item that I thought was in the the water stage. Yeah, yeah. The Dust Knuckles. So the Dust Knuckles are actually pretty good for, for chain hitting bosses. Because you can just punch them, and then when they get knocked back, you can just punch them again. <laughs> but it also works on enemies. And you can see, when you punch and you don't hit something, it, it doesn't make you go forward so that you don't accidentally punch yourself into an enemy. <laughs> Which is good. I appreciate that step. Look at Tri look at Chester there, just yucking it up. Treasure. Treasure Chester. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> Chester. Because he hangs out in chests. That's good. Well done, Shovel Knight devs. See, the best jokes are, are ones that you don't get at first. Like, I, I didn't I didn't even realize that that was a joke until just now. And maybe that makes me stupid. It, yeah, yes it does. But you know what? Besides that, it's a pretty good joke. Yeah! It's worth quite a bit of gold. Quite a, a hefty sum. Boing. I don't really know what this green goop is, but it's useful to me, so I guess I'm not complaining. It has the ability to goop lava, so it's it's got some uses. There we go. That, that's a tricky one, especially when you are, uh, especially when you're wearing the, the heavy armor. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I will admit that my timing on that was a little bit poor. Really, just my timing in general is poor. I just, it's, it's not good, man. Up. I mean, you gotta make it your goal to get all the treasure you can. That is a tricky jump, and this is also tricky. This is this is oh jeez, I am probably gonna die trying to get this music. It's all in the name of good songs. <laughs> it, I'm not gonna say I broke a sweat, uh, but it's, I will say that this is a lava. This is a lava level, so would you really blame me for breaking a sweat in the lava level? See you later, sucker. Oh, did you see that guy wiggling his fingers? Uh, this guy is just waiting to murder me. Jeez. Get out of here. And actually, it, it is important not to be on the lava, even when you've got goop on it, because it will, uh, as soon as it starts blinking, it will hurt you, even if it's gonna get re-gooped in, like, no time, no time flat. Go, going over bottomless pits like that is also very scary. Because what if you miss? What if you miss time it and you fuck it up? That's why I always mash it, because like... What if I fuck it up? <laughs> ah. There's really no way to avoid letting those guys out. You, you really just gotta do it. 
Crap. Oh, crap. Huh? <laughs> well, I missed that one up. It's okay. At least I have chicken. You know, that's the second Let's Play in, like, a week that I've put up that has At Least I Have Chicken. Come on, man. Why does everybody talk in puns? Oh, Mole Knight. So Mole Knight is... A, he's a pretty tough fight, I, I would say. He, he's kind of like the... He's kind of like Heat Man. He, he's kind of like the Heat Man of this game, which I guess would make sense given his, you know, archetype. Now, these... Oh, I'm really bad at that. But uh, you can hit those glowing flames back at him. And, uh... It'll do extra damage! I'm pretty sure that instantly kills you if you get crushed against the wall like that. Which is a major dick move. It's really hard to actually hit him when he's doing that. Like, the your your chances to hit him are actually pretty slim, and that is probably part of why this fight is tough, is because you really don't have very many opportunities. That's why you gotta take him where you get him. Yeah, hit that fire back for good measure. See you later, sucker. <laughs> Hell yeah, one swing. <laughs> Optimized for speed running. And hey, now that we have the dust knuckles, we can do this. Hello, horse. If only we had some kind of dust knuckle. What do you know? We have exactly such a thing. Now this is this is sketchy. Cause you really you really have to mash it in order to get it. It's it's real easy to mess the timing up. And actually, <laughs> it's easier to not use the dust knuckle on these guys. Cause that'll uh, that'll destroy your arena and then you'll fall into the lava. And then you'll be sad. Not gonna Again, not gonna name names of people who might have done that at some point, like an idiot. Nobody I know, for sure. <laughs> oh, this is... Jeez. They really ramp it up, don't they? I mean, you can probably hear how hard I'm mashing it. <laughs> I'd say that was worth the worth the challenge, you know. Hooray! We've done it. So there's only one order of no quarter guy left, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna not do that. <laughs> How about? Hell yeah!
Interesting. I, I wonder what that instrument would be called. Annoying is what it would probably be called. <laughs> hey, Trouple, Trouple friend. Trouple acolyte. Give me the other chalice. <laughs> so now we have two chalices. And there's there's nothing in this one, so we need to go make a visit to the Trouple King and uh, see how he's see how he's faring. Oh God, he was waiting for us. He knows. I need your help, friend. Give me strength. Thanks, pal. So, he does not do the dance unless you ask him to dance again. Uh, but you'll have to forgive me for not doing that. <laughs> so, okay. Here we go. Ugh, ah, bleh. Here we go. It's time to visit the Explodatorium and fight one of the harder bosses of this game. Which is why I've been putting this off. Other than that, this area is actually pretty cool. It's got an interesting gimmick. You can't jump over these flames uh, once you're once you get moving on them. So you have to. Uh, you see, you can't you can't slow down. You can't slow down. You're dead. Also, those rats explode. So uh, we're just gonna not fuck with that rat. But yeah, this is this is one of the one of the harder levels. This is where the game's difficulty starts to ramp up. So it's a little strange that they uh, allow you to do this like as your third level if you want, because it it gets tough, believe me. Sorry, I had to itch my nose. It's just that there's a lot of stuff in this level that can like hit you like for a lot of damage instantly, you know? And that, that kind of stuff is pretty tough in a video game like this where every hit knocks you back. Because even when I'm wearing the black armor, I still get knocked back a little bit. I still get knocked back, just not by distance, you see. Let's, let's go fishing, shall we? See what we'll catch. Ow! Oh, it hit the platform. Lame. The the phase locket is actually very useful in this level. It's uh, phew. cause there are a lot of enemies in this level that explode, and explosions are pretty hard to dodge because they happen instantly. But, but Shovel Knight, even even when you're just, you know, being Shovel Knight and not wearing the armor, uh, it still takes him a second to get out of the way. So it's hard to dodge explosions like that. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. That, that was very close. I'm sure if Shovel Knight had hair... Uh, his hair would have been singed. Maybe his eyebrows, perhaps. I, I can't help but wonder what he looks like underneath that helmet. Maybe his head is just shaped like that. Maybe that's actually not a helmet, and that's just his head. I don't know. That's pretty weird. That's a pretty weird thought. So these guys are basically a miniature version of the boss of this area. They, they throw potions which explode. And those are pretty tough to dodge. Not especially tough, but it, it, you, you can take quite a bit of damage pretty easily. And here we go. It's, it's another section where you can get instantly killed. Which is... Eh. That's alright. I, I like this gimmick. I feel like it's a little bit rough, I guess I would say, 
it's it's really easy to get killed instantly here and have it not necessarily be your fault. Cause like if I whoop, jeez, momentum. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that was my fault. But if I had like clipped my foot on the underside of one of those, um, uh, on the underside of one of those exploding tubs. It, it would have killed me instantly because I would have gotten quote-unquote crushed and and that that kind of sucks But it's not that big a deal. It's it's still a pretty interesting challenge and We already got all the gold out of here so this guy could just go fuck himself <laughs> And that's actually one good thing is about the treasure is that the treasure does not ouch the treasure itself that you find in the levels does not respawn when you die. So, um, jeez, see? The treasure itself does not respawn when you die. So you don't have to you don't have to collect it again if you mess up. Whew. It's nerve-wracking, all right. Haha! -ha. Oh my god, look at that spider. Fuck spiders, man. Especially this one. Look at this. I don't even care. I'm just gonna use the phase locket. It's fine. Oop. And these exploding rats, man. They're just jerks. Everything is a jerk. <laughs> Thankfully, the enemies in this game are, for the most part, designed with you continually moving in mind. Like these birds that are dropping these potions. If you're walking and the bird drops a potion, uh, it'll actually land very, very slightly behind you. Because it, it, it was designed that way. So that... Uh, so that it wouldn't interrupt your flow, you know, so that you wouldn't have to- Whoops! So that you wouldn't have to backtrack in order to dodge it. But I died, so I have to backtrack anyway. <laughs> and also you can- you can knock the potions up in the air, which is cool. It's really, really hard to do, though. Uh-oh. Woo. The one thing you have to be careful about with the with the locket is that it freezes your momentum in the air. So if you use it and you're not at the top of your jump, it'll uh, screw you over. Now I was very concerned for the longest time about how to get this, and I, I kept trying to backtrack and whatever to try and get it. But actually, there is... Oh, actually, I think I missed it. Oh well, that's fine. The you can you can get on top of the background back there. Oh jeez. Screw that. <laughs> what a horrible monstrosity. This guy looks very experienced. He looks like a very experienced gentleman. And also, he uh, he serves as a, a pretty good introduction for the boss of this area. Because the, the boss of this area, Plague Knight, he throws potions that you can hit back. And so it's, it's kind of training you in a way. Boy, that's gonna bug me. That music sheet that I missed. Oh well, that's, that's okay. This is a casual let's play, remember? <laughs> let us, let us go fishing. Oh, crap. Woo. <laughs> I really should have equipped the phase locket for that. So these, these green knights are the uh, 
logical progression of the purple knights. Uh, they can uh, they can charge, they can throw stuff, and they can do a jumping attack on you. So so now now they can officially do every attack that the black knight could do on us at the beginning of the game. Oh jeez. <laughs> See, this is scary, especially knowing that death awaits me at the bottom of this pit. <laughs> oh, that shouldn't hit me. <laughs> oh my god, look at these horrible monsters. The, they are like the, the goopy ectoplasm shovel knight. Oh, they're horrible. Oh my god. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. And we're on even ground, too. <laughs> Obviously, Plague Knight was experimenting with uh, shovel-based genetics. An abomination against nature, I tell you. Ouch. Crap. Well. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, some people call the phase lock it a crutch, and I agree with them. But what's wrong? What's what's wrong with using a crutch? You know. I'm not very much crippled, sure, but sometimes a crutch can be useful. Thank you. You know, some people use walking sticks, and the phase locket is like my walking stick. I don't need it, but it helps. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hey, look, it's Plague Knight. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, Plague Knight. This fight is bananas. So he, he has all of the qualities of the bosses we fought so far. He can throw stuff. He can jump all over the place. He's got projectiles. Oh, God. <laughs> This is one of those challenges that I mentioned where uh, the, the time limit is uh, non-restricted a little. I think it's up to a minute with this guy uh, because he just jumps around so much that it's impossible to kill him super fast. Got him. Oh, God. Get out of here. No. I gotta catch her. I gotta do it. What kind of shovel man would I be if I didn't catch my dear friend, Shield Knight? I gotcha. And hey, another meal ticket. Sweet. And would you look at that, we have unlocked the final area and the final members of the Order of No Quarter. So let's go get them.
Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> what a wonderful way to start this off. Oh, no. <laughs> this should not be here. This is not under the correct stage. Yeah, screw you. I really need to change out of this armor. It's going to get me killed. <laughs> Oh, moles. See? See what I said about the moles? Cool, and there was fire in that one, and just everything is just... Everything's going horribly wrong, okay? I hate this dark level. I hate it. The darkness is just scary in general, man. Yeah, eat it, skeleton. Who's the one with the shovel around here? Me, Shovel Knight. Oh God. Nope, I'm not even gonna bother. Uh-uh. Screw you. <laughs> Woo. Oh, look at that, one final dick move. Man. So, we've got our final three here. We've got, uh... We've got the Stranded Ship, the Lair of Polar Knight. Clockwork Tower, the Lair of Tinker Knight. And the Flying Machine, the Lair of Propeller Knight. But before we go to any of those places... Hey look, it's a shortcut. Whoa! Okay. Ouch. Hey, buddy. That's true. I do have a music sheet. <laughs> also a broken spine. Cool. Hey, we've got a meal ticket. I just, like, found it. You can have it. Hopefully this one won't poison me. Oh, it's grilled cheese. Cool. Tasty. Thanks, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> Ouch. It's gotta be real hard on the spine. Ballistic physics are pretty good, man. Why don't we change out of this? Why don't we change out of this outfit? Because it's gotten me killed. <laughs> I believe that green armor there in the back. That the green armor and the bronze armor there in the back are the, the exclusive ones that I can't get. Let's see. Why don't we wear the conjurer's coat? So, with the Conjurer's Coat, we take slightly higher damage, but... Thank you. We take slightly higher damage, but we have way more magic, as you can see. And, uh, it's pretty useful. 